Good morning, everyone, and thank you uh, from Smart Sky for this opportunity to provide with one of our new products. This year, we're introducing our new fleet management tool. I'm Sean Riley, Vice President of Air Transport and Digital Solutions. As you may know, we have very extensive air-to-ground network providing high-speed, low latency across the United States. Here's a recent map of our towers across the U.S. that provide an always-up connection for the aircraft. The highly reliable of the network allows operators to not only rely on <coughs> excuse me, internet connections, but the ability to move large data on and off the aircraft. This game-changing platform is why we recently received an Avi Aviation Week Laureate Award for our light system, the first streaming level connectivity for small jets <coughs> and turboprops. As SmartSky continues to add customers, dealers, and grow the number of tails covered by our SDCs, we continue to find more and more operators that have a fleet of aircraft that have, have a need to maintain operational consistency. Whether it is an airline, <clears throat> cargo operator, or small business jet fleet, operators need and want to make sure the aircraft is active on the network. Last year, we introduced our private intranet, a secure connection to the operator's IT department, so IT can actually control what goes across the pipe. Is it operational data? Is it internet? Is it just one page of an internet? Intranet, eliminating the need for whitelists on an aircraft or a router. That secure connectivity, in turn, pushed the need for better network tools for the operator to have the ability to see how the aircraft is performing. New for 2024, our fleet management tool does not mean we change our relationship with our VARs like Honeywell. It enhances the ability for the uh, aircraft and the performance on the network. Large operators <coughs> tend to have their own maintenance staff. These tools help them monitor the need and when to troubleshoot the answer to the question, is it the network, is it hardware, or is it plain just RF voodoo? This is key for keeping the aircraft at an operational performance at its peak. The tool itself actually <clears throat> builds off of our current map that you all have seen and what's working at its peak performance for reliability. Now, while we all know Pan Am is not in operation anymore, um, but for you nostalgic airline types like myself, this is a, a demo of what a fleet would look like. When we look at the fleet status of Pan Am, it tells us if there are any basic issues. And here, we see that there are two. When we open up the fleet page, we can see that the Pan Am fleet is very friendly and very easy to use. But we can also tell that the Boeing 737 has two issues. We can open that specific fleet to see what is going on. As we drill down into the two issues, one is in maintenance, so it's inactive, no real issue, but we at least know that it is on the network. However, one is active and one is in flight yet shows disconnected with no data being passed. Whoever's using the tool can alert maintenance, IT, or whomever they need on the network and have people standing by to look at whether it's the network or the aircraft itself. It'll even alert the pilot and the operators and the need be. Finally, thank you very much. This is a lot of information in four minutes, but feel free to stop by booth in 701. And for those of you on the internet, feel free to check us out online. Thank you and have a great morning. Enjoy the show. Aero News Network's coverage of the 67th Annual AEA International Convention and Trade Show, live from Grapevine, Texas, is brought to you in part by the following sponsors.